Hello everybody and welcome back to Perfume Vegas. I'm Holly Golightly and welcome back to another video. <laughs> I'm doing a review today on a fragrance that is very special to me, something that I've wanted for a really long time, and I finally got it. So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for clicking in, and I'm so excited to hang out with you again. And to all my new subscribers, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope that you find something you like here on Perfumed Vegas. Without further ado, let's talk about this fragrance. The fragrance is in here, but it also is inside another box, inside this box, which is why there's extra boxes and it's so big. It's a large box with extra fragrance in it. So this came... As you see, um, it's a little dirty because I spilled coffee on it, but it didn't harm the actual box, just with the outer packaging. And the fragrance is from Tiziana Terenzi. It, it, it's so shiny. Arakis is the fragrance. Arakis from Tiziana Terenzi. I'm going to try to keep this review very much to the point because there are not very many reviews or information about this fragrance available on YouTube or the internet perfume blogs. It seems like Arakis got overlooked in the Luna collection for other fragrances like Draco, um, Cassiopeia, Ursa, and is not as popular, um, or at least not as noticed. So this box, when you get one of these gorgeous boxes and you open it up to let the fragrance out, there's actually a light inside of there that shines on your fragrance bottle. And then the front comes open, the light turns off when you close it, and your fragrance is housed in this stunning packaging. There's some information about the scent and also about the House of Tiziana Trenzi inside of here. I'm going to take that out, but let's just give this one final look to appreciate how amazingly gorgeous this is with its little emblem and all of that. I was like, seriously finding a light in there was the most amazing thing. It was like, I discovered fire. I was like, Ugh. <laughs> So the Tiziana Trenzi information booklet just talks about their different collections and a lot of the different scents. Um, it doesn't have everything in here, which is probably why you get the one individual scent booklet as well. Um, and the scent booklet, you can scan on the back to get more information about the fragrance. I am going to tell you a little bit about Arakis from this booklet, but first I'm going to spray it on me so we can begin to experience the fragrance. This is a review. I have worn this fragrance through to completion um, a couple of times now, but the first thing you'll notice when you spray this is it's a very dualistic top note. There's a something citrusy, grapefruit, bergamot, and right away there's a sweet tobacco scent that comes through. So we'll talk more about the notes in a minute. Let me read about the fragrance for you. So this is from the Luna collection, the Stars of Luna, uh, based on Tiziana and Pablo Terenzi's uh, imagination and memories of looking out and seeing these stars. Arakis is um, a binary star system that is in the larger Draco constellation. So, so a binary star is actually two separate stars that are equivalent in size um, and density that actually use each other's uh, gravitational pull to stay together in what becomes visible as just one star to our naked eye. Although if you look at it through a telescope, you can see that it is a binary star. 
Um, Arakis is an Arab word, I believe, um, from Al Rakis, which means the dancer um, or um, like dancing. So it describes the movement of these stars as they continue to circle each other in their um, their system, their binary system. So that's a little bit of space information for you. Um, as it says here, Arakis, a binary star system in the Draco constellation, was the inspiration for this exploration into the varied spectrum an olfactory pyramid conceived to create new light and unpredictable emotive sensations. Just as the Araki system is made of two counterpoised equal stars, this fragrance has two distinct characters of contrasting intensity that reveal themselves only to the most expert connoisseur. I don't think I'm an expert connoisseur, but I'm doing my best. <laughs> Arakis is a fragrance of unexpected contrast between light and dark, with a seductive strength creating an intense comet trail of scent that will never go unnoticed. So the notes listed here from Tiziana Terenzi for the high spiral or the head are bergamot, lemon, grapefruit, saffron, osmanthus, thyme, and rosemary. From the central spiral or the heart, we have vetiver, tobacco, patchouli, and guaiac wood. And the background spiral, or of course the base, is tonka bean, amber, musk, and Cambodian oud. So I don't get much of the more aromatic notes of this fragrance. I'm probably not a connoisseur enough. But I will tell you this. As the top notes dry and the um, citrusy feelings, the citrusy notes kind of begin to fade into the background and the tobacco for comes forward it comes forward like with a presence it comes forward with a big bang um the tobacco vetiver patchouli the wood the guyac wood all of that comes forward and it's like poof, it's there it's present and it's so rich this is not a shy tobacco this is not a shy fragrance but it's not beating you over the head either it's definitely something that is safe enough to wear for just about any occasion maybe not like the office or like the heat of summer outdoors but for any other like indoor occasion or event this fragrance is totally safe to wear but it's absolutely going to be known. It's going to make its presence known. I just wanted to show you the gorgeous cap of the Luna collection from Tiziana Terenzi. It's so beautiful. It's so heavy. It's heavier. The cap is heavier than the bottle. It makes it like super top heavy. <laughs> um, there was coffee on it. <laughs> um, yeah, this fragrance does not like... I haven't worn it out in public, but I've worn it around the house and it definitely presents a siage because I notice that when I go from one room to the next, I can smell it when I come back or when I go into the next place, it's there. So it's definitely a workhorse type of fragrance. It's not going to let you down in regards to longevity and siage. Um, in my estimation, the longevity of the fragrance on me is about eight hours and I do actually um, absorb, <laughs> my, so my skin eats fragrances, so I think a, a person with a more of a, a balanced skin pH could probably get about 10 to 12 hours of wear time from this fragrance. So this fragrance is beautiful. <laughs> um, and one of the reasons that I decided to make this video, you'll see this in an upcoming haul too, you'll see this fragrance in a haul video, but I wanted to do a dedicated review to the scent because there weren't very many. Um, there was a couple from male re reviewers on YouTube and it looked like there were a couple blog posts that glossed over the fragrance pretty quickly, but when it came to um, describing the scent and describing how it performed and all of that, it I really had to rely on just like Fragrantica and Base Notes reviewers. And you know how it is, like when you go those places, it's terrifying. This is not an inexpensive scent by any stretch of the imagination. And it 
probably is my most expensive blind buy to date but it was absolutely worth it this originally came on my radar after I had tried Tiziana Trenzi's Kirka and I went to check out um, about buying that and I saw the name Arakis and I am a huge science fiction nerd if you don't know now you know I love sci-fi I love Star Wars I love space I love sci-fi I love like space opera type of science fiction and of course the main the main like the father of modern science fiction is Frank Herbert with his Dune series and Arrakis is the planet in the series Dune where the spice is harvested um, and it's very central to the entire series so when I saw this fragrance I was like okay I want that for the name obviously but then when I looked at the notes and I saw there was a tobacco prominent fragrance I was like <laughs> I, I love me some tobacco some tobacco done well and so I'm gonna have to maybe check this out and go a little dig a little deeper on Fragrantica there are some of the f notes that they've listed in their booklet um, that are not present in the description here um, it looks like there is missing um, the oud predominantly um, and it's possible because I don't pick up a ton of oud I do in the deep deep dry down it does become a little oudy but it can easily be attributed to a slightly animalic amber musk as well but um, the blending of this is done phenomenally if you love a tobacco scent but you're not comfortable with something that is a very heavy or um, like kind of dirty tobacco scent or if you don't like the green tobacco or the tobacco flower sort of scent um, this gives you this fragrance uh, this fragrance gives you that beautiful rich warm pipe tobacco scent and it's present throughout the life of the scent the fragrance has this just richness to it. it's like it's when you get that mouth feel like you can smell it and taste it it's so good so there is absolutely um, a dualism here and I think that's what makes it a more versatile type of fragrance than others in this sort of category but I also think that it is what makes it um, fly under the radar a little bit because when you hit those top notes and you get the like citrusy and you get a little bit of the saffron a little bit of the osmanthus as well it doesn't give you like an immediate like wow it's it is missing the wow factor straight off of the bat like first sniff you have got to let it dry down you've got to get it on your skin and let it dry into those middle notes and that's when the tobacco starts coming up and the woodsy notes coming up and the vetera and the really nice rich patchouli it's not a dirty patchouli those things are coming up and then when it dries down into the base it's a creamy tonka bean and amber musky tobacco like I said <sighs> I don't really see like I don't really notice an oud presence but um, that can just be my nose registering the other scents differently <sighs> from the middle it goes from being a very rich mouth-watering tobacco and to the dry down of a soft sweet comfortable scent this is a very comfortable scent to wear and so missing when you're missing that initial like bang wow factor on the top and there's nothing in the dry down that keeps your head turning um, it's easy to think that maybe it's not as good of a fragrance or that it's lacking something but in my opinion a fragrance like that that you can wear any time that you feel comfortable in any time that's so beautifully well blended that the scents just merge together into this cocoon of warm gorgeous sort of tobacco-y resiny ambery <laughs> tonka-y fragrance is 
that's like that's something that is not only special because it stands out for its it stands out for its non complexity. Um, it's something special, and it's also something that everyone should have in their collection. The closest thing that I have to Arakis in my personal collection is, uh, um, oddly enough, the H&M Makassar Patchouli, which it doesn't have any tobacco. There's no similarities at all, really, in the fragrance themselves, but they both have that comfortable, warm feeling. Um, and then I have the Demeter Fragrance Library, um, This Is Not a Pipe tobacco scent, and that has the same um, pipe tobacco feel, but that is a much more synthetic, harsh type of pipe tobacco, woody, woody kind of glazed pipe tobacco, whereas this is just rich, warm, beautiful, non-synthetic, not synthetic at all, just gorgeous. So if you're a tobacco fan and if you want to put out the money for a, a tobacco fragrance, I highly recommend Arakis. Um, if you love Tiziana Terenzi, but you haven't had a chance to check this one out, do so. It's definitely worth your time. I do want to give a try because on Fragrantica, the most um, upvoted uh, dupes or similar scents for Arakis were Mansara Red Tobacco and Guerlain Tonka Imperial. Now I have two samples of Tonka Imperial. They're both they're both about the same age. I've had them both about the same amount of time. This one's a little bit more used, so I'll use that one. I just wanted to put this on me and see if they're see how similar it is to Arakis. So I can give you an idea if you have smelled Tonka Imperial. Um, which has a similar price point um, if it's something that you like you could maybe you know take that information and use it somehow so this is one that's been on my wish list from Guerlain for a long time oh it's not the same no I can see where I can see where um, people could get the same note and I bet in the dry down it's more similar because they're both going to be a Tonka Amber dry down but on the top Tonka Imperial is spicier it has none of the citrus at all um let me look at the actual notes for Tonka Imperial yeah bitter almond rosemary and bergamot so it's like very very rich from the beginning all the way through. It does have a tobacco note, but it also has a jasmine note. It has a cedar note. It has an incense note. Tob <laughs> Tonka Imperial is more similar on my skin to its sister, Angelique Noir, than it is to Araki's. Um, this is definitely unique in my collection, and it's such a beautiful beautiful bottle. If you haven't smelled anything with just a very classic, rich, warm pipe tobacco composition and you want to add a high-end niche fragrance like that into your, your wardrobe, um, I definitely recommend Arakis. I am not sad at all. Um, I went in, I, I've been wanting this for ages. I knew it was expensive and my birthday will maybe have it. Well, it's coming up. I don't know when it will be versus when you see this, but my birthday is coming up and I was just like, girl, just do it. It's worth it. You know, it's so, so good. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed and I hope that you found this review of Arakis from Tiziana Terenzi useful. If you have any questions about the fragrance or want to just chat in general, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, please give me a thumbs up to know that you enjoyed these type of reviews. I'd also be happy to do a dedicated review to Tonka Imperial. Um, I can 
happily review any fragrance in my collection for you and I will be doing individual fragrance reviews more coming up for you. So if you want to see those, thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you're like and I will see you on the next one. Bye! Of love